Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the fragrance from Maison Margiela Replica Beach Walk. I figured this would be a great fragrance to review because we're coming into spring and summer and this is a fantastic fragrance that I think doesn't get a lot of love, so I figured let's give it some attention. So anyway, let's get into the review. Always, guys I'm gonna let you guys know where I got this bottle I purchased this bottle from somebody who was decluttering their collection so there is a about if I'd say a fifth of it missing I did not go through that much but I did purchase this fragrance although at a very steep discount I did purchase this to uh, to use for myself because I enjoyed it so this was not given to me to review now this is one of the fragrances from this line that doesn't get a lot of attention and the tension that it does get is eh, it actually has mixed reviews but I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about this so let's get into the notes uh, the notes are bergamot pink pepper lemon ylang ylang coconut milk heliotrope musk cedarwood and benzoin it's described on Sephora as being pure deep and blissful now, I don't think deep is the right word for this on the bottle, it's supposed to be, the fragrance description is <laughs> sun-kissed, salty skin, and it's described as a feminine fragrance, but I find this fragrance to be very unisex. Now, this fragrance is, um, is one from the line that I think that people don't, I think that there's so many amazing gems from this line that the ones that don't live up to that height, like, say, by the fireplace, people tend to think are lackluster. And for me, when I found whenever it comes to any fragrance that's slightly salty or gives off that salty feeling, people tend to either really love or really don't love. I find the fragrance description of this to be absolutely spot on, as sun-kissed salty skin. As somebody who grew up on the beach, slathered in sunscreen, covered in sand, sweaty, living my life on the beach, wanting to go home. <laughs> This smells like a romantic version of what my skin smelled like growing up. And there's just something about that that's very nostalgic for me that I really appreciate. There's a light sweetness to this and fruitiness to this. And I think the Ylang Ylang and Coconut are to thank for that, which gives this kind of like a tropical feeling, which kind of makes you feel like you're on a vacation without it being too much like a vacation fragrance, like too not too gimmicky, not too cheap. It actually gives it a nice sweetness which I actually think elevates it and helps balance out the saltiness. Now, it doesn't say there's salt as a note, but I do get a little bit of that. And generally on my skin with salty fragrances, it can pull a little bit too heavy, but there's a really nice balance to this. Now, I actually like the benzoin in this. I think this gives it a little bit of earthiness, just a little bit, which really works with the crispness and the brightness the bergamot has in the opening. Overall, I think this is an absolutely fantastic daytime scent. I've really been enjoying it as one of my grab-and-go scents. And generally, overall, I've been really pleased with this purchase. I would definitely consider purchasing this full price, considering I was considering purchasing it full price after, after sampling it pretty readily. I think I went through three or four of those little um, vials or two mil, uh, two mil samples, please excuse me. And when I saw the opportunity to buy this bottle for like, I think it was like $30, I was like, yes, I will do that because I loved it. So that is my thoughts on this fragrance. I do think that if I was to knock off any um, points for this, it has to go to longevity. The longevity of this fragrance is maybe, if I'm lucky and over spray, four hours. I tend to get three to four, I think once I got five. And I generally hope for four to six, but if you're like barely making it to four, I, I don't consider you to be in the four to six. You have to be like four, five, six, not like three and a half, three and three quarters. So the longevity of this fragrance isn't the best, at least on my skin in the tropics. And this fragrance smells like it was made for my environment. So I do wish it lasted longer. The projection of this is really nice too. It's about arm's length and it stays that way the entire time. It actually kind of disappears almost immediately on my skin. So it doesn't kind of get closer and closer and softer and softer. It's pretty apparent and then one day or like a little bit later on in the day, you're like, I'm not wearing any fragrance. It's completely gone. 
Now because this fragrance is kind of more of like a salty tropical fragrance, you might think that this might not be appropriate for a work environment, but because of the ylang, -ylang and the benzoin and the coconut, I actually think this would be a very um, work appropriate scent to wear. It does have a projection, but it's not loud enough to be really a bother. It's not heavy, so it's not suffocating. And the scent is actually really enjoyable and easy to understand. So I do think if you were one of those people that like to wear fragrances in the workplace and you wanted something a little bit different, this would be a great thing to check out as well. At the end of the day, I really love this scent. I can understand why people might not be wowed by it, specifically at the price point of $126 for this size. I would say some people also consider this to be a niche fragrance. Some people consider this to be a designer fragrance. I consider this line to be a designer fragrance line because of Maze and Margiela is a designer house. But I do find that the quality of this juice does lift off to other designer fragrances and the price point is on par with, you know, its peers. So I definitely don't think it's overpriced. Um, again, the only problem I really have with it is the longevity. So anyway, <laughs> I know this video was a little bit um, off kilter, so please excuse me, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys try, if you guys have tried this fragrance and you like it or hate it or eh about it, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. And yeah, if you guys like me reviewing these types of fragrances, if you want me to delve more into the line of Replica, I'd be more than happy to. Let me guys know in the comments section below. As always, guys, if you like my fragrance reviews and videos like this, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Because it's free, and I'm free, and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye!